welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do a two-page Christmas scrapbook layout. The paper that I'm using for today, some of it is from scrapbook.com. I have one from Echo Park and this one is called Tree Form. And this is actually going to be my main paper. My next one is from Echo Park and this one's called Holiday Greetings. Next from Cartabella, I have Ornaments. And this one also is from Miss Kate Cuttables. I bought this from Amazon. It's the uh, from the red and black buffalo check paper collection. To start off, my paper does measure 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and I inked my edges with my uh, Stampin' Up Early Espresso. Next, I do have two pieces for my bottom. It does measure uh, two inches by 11 and a half. And for the top one, it measures three quarters. Next, I do have a Google border that I brought onto my silhouette and traced it. This one measures uh, 11 and a half by half an inch. And for the Miss Cake, uh, cuttables paper it's actually um, it's really nice colors but I'm not sure if I like the material it's not like regular cardstock I'm not sure how to describe it if it's it's kind of um, shiny I'm not sure if you could tell um, I'm not sure if I like it but I bought it so I decided to go ahead and use it Trying to figure out which part is the back. And I go ahead and back this on a piece of 12 by 12 crab cardstock paper. And for my next page, I do have it ready. To start off, I do have uh, two photo frames. This is from Miss Kate Cuttables. Uh, they do measure uh, five and a half by five and a half. And on my silhouette, I did do internal offset. For the inside, it measures four and one quarter by three and three quarters. And on my silhouette, I did do internal offset. I do have two. Next for Miss Kate Cuttables, I do have my title. It does measure four and a half by six inches. It does say joy. And I did pop it up between the layers. I believe this was a freebie. I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before. Um, I'm really into using uh, right now the files that I have and that I've never uh, used before. Uh, some of them, well, I get a lot of them when they're freebies and I never really get around to using them. Uh, so I'm really trying to do that right now. Next, uh, this is supposed to be my tree skirt, 
What I ended up just doing on my silhouette, I went to my shapes um, section on the left and just created a circle on my silhouette. And then I pretty much just stretched it out and just to the size that I actually wanted it. And measures one and a half by seven and a half. Now go ahead and bring it down here. Next from Miss Kate Cuttables, I do have my tree. Now I've said it before, this is one of my favorite uh, Christmas trees from Miss Kate Cuttables. Uh, my tree measures uh, nine and three quarters by six and one quarter. Now the tree itself only comes with the actual tree. I ended up adding the star. I think I just got it off another, um, the star, another uh, file that I had. And then I just created circles and just cut them out in different um, colors. Uh, but I really, really like it. And this tree was a freebie, I think, two years ago or so from Miss Kate Cuttables. My next couple of pieces are from Treasure Box Designs. I'll go ahead and leave the information on the description down below just in case anybody's interested. To start off, I do have two chairs. Uh, they do measure four and three quarters by four and one quarter. Next, I do have Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Uh, for Santa Claus, uh, he does measure four and three quarters by three inches. Mrs. Claus measures four and five eighths by two and a half. Now their legs, I did end up uh, popping them up on one thickness of foam tape just because they're going to be sitting and I wanted uh, to give it a little bit of dimension. And also on their glasses, I did add glossy accents by Ranger. Uh, they're a little bit small, so you might not be able to tell uh, but in person, it really makes a difference and I really like it. Next, I do have my little table. It measures one and three quarters by two and one quarter. I do have Rudolph. He does measure four and one quarter by three and one quarter. And this part right here, I did pop it up on one thickness of foam tape. And also on his reef, I did add uh, Nuba Drops. I really had so much fun creating this uh, layout. I really got into the spirit of creating uh, holiday layouts. And I made a couple of them, so expect those quite soon and it kind of worked out um, that I created them and um, I get to post them for uh, Christmas in July. He is so adorable. And these chairs are so easy to make. Um, I actually got them, I actually got the file for a different uh, layout that I am uh, creating. I'm almost done with it too. 
uh, it's uh, the file actually comes with uh, grandparents so I thought um, I would make um, well, I'm actually making a layout for my, for my kids' grandparents, and um, it the file just happened to come with these beautiful chairs, and I thought, oh man, these are awesome. I'm going to use them all the time. <laughs> So the file that I'm currently working on right now, the grandparents one, I actually um, started working on that one and I got really excited about making Christmas projects that I jumped into this one. So <laughs> um, like a month later, I'm finally uh, finishing it up. And for some added touch, I do have Santa's uh, Christmas bag. It does measure two and a half by two and one eighth. I did pop it up on foam tape. I do have two presents. It's actually the same one I just duplicated. It measures one and three quarters by uh, one and a half. One of them I did pop up on foam tape. And lastly, I do have um, two glasses of milk with uh, chocolate chip cookies. Two of them I did pop pop up on foam tape. Uh, for my cookies, well, the whole thing measures uh, one and three quarters by two and one quarter. And uh, the, the actual, um, my cups, I actually took them from a different file. I already forgot uh, which file it was. I do have... Um, a safe section of just uh, furniture stuff and kitchen stuff so I just grabbed them from there and the cookies the same thing but they were actually oranges and I just converted them into cookies and I thought um, it was pretty neat I really like how this layout came together And there you have it. This is my two-page Christmas scrapbook layout. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye for now.